We are continuing our discussion of the projection operator. Um, the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. What we did in the previous video is we considered a very simple situation. We have two vectors, vector A and vector B, and we realized that the point on vector A that is closest to vector B is the perpendicular distance from vector B down to vector A. And realizing that then, in the last video, we derived some formulas. Now the projection of B onto A is just some scalar times the vector A. And in the last video, we determined that the scalar has this expression, so vector p is came out to equal this expression, and we explain that this, even though this is just a number, it's the magnitude of vector a, this is a matrix, we showed that in the last video, in fact it's a symmetrical matrix, and this is what vector b is multiplied by to get the projection vector p. So this is the projection matrix. And again, this is what we derived and talked about in some detail in the previous video. Now, in this video, we want to use a specific example. Let's say that vector A is 2, 4, 3. Vector B is 1, 2, 3. And we're going to project vector B on to vector A. Now remember that the projection of B onto A is just going to be some scalar times vector A. And that scalar C is equal to A transpose B divided by A transpose A. This is the magnitude of A squared. This is the inner product of vector A with vector B. I'm going to leave the bars off the vectors now because it's just, it gets too messy. So let's see what C comes out to be equal to. We have A transpose, that's 2, 4, 3, times B, those are its components, divided by A transpose, times vector A. So this is equal to 2 plus 8 plus 9, that's 19. Then here we have 4 plus 16 plus 9, that would be 29. So that is what C is, and then remember from our earlier work that the projection P that is equal to C, the scalar C, times the vector A. We'll put our bars on. Okay, so then P equals C, that's 19 over 29 times vector A. 2, 4, 3. Or that would equal 1 over 29 times 38, 76, 57. So that right there then is 
the projection of vector B onto vector A. Now, we can consider this another way. Here we found what C is and C times A, that is the projection P. Let's consider it like this. Um, we can say, well, the projection matrix is this, A times A transpose. So now we will have, this is another way of approaching it now, 2, 4, 3, that's vector A, times A transpose. That's 2, 4, 3. Divided by A transpose A. And again, that's what? Well, that's just the magnitude of vector A squared. And in fact, we just did that right here. That is 29. So for down here, we can just put in 29. But now, this up here is going to be a matrix. It will equal 2 times this first column. So we're going to have 4, 8, 6. Eight, sixteen, twelve, and six, twelve, nine. And that matrix is divided by twenty nine, so let's just write it like this. So there is the projection matrix. And we said before that P is this projection matrix times the vector B. So let's do this again. There's our projection matrix. Multiply this by vector B. And vector B is 1, 2, 3. So we get our projection equals 1 over 29, 4, 8, 6, 8, 16, 12, 6, 12, 9, times 1, 2, 3. And this will equal 1 over 29, 1 times, and here we have 4 plus 16 plus 18 That is 38. Then here we have 8, 32, 36. That is 76. Then here we have 6, 24, 27. That is 57. And there's our projection. So we did it two different ways. Notice that. This is our projection matrix. And as we said before, it is a symmetrical matrix. Here are the diagonal elements, 4, 16, 9. The off-diagonal elements are equal, 8, 8, 6, 6, and 12, 12. So let's just go back to the beginning now and see what we did here. Here. Vector B is 1, 2, 3. Vector A is 
two, four, three. The projection vector P, this, is just some scalar times A. And that scalar is this. It is what? It's the inner product of vector A with vector B divided by the magnitude squared of vector A. So this is just going to be some number times vector A. And what did that number come out to be? It was 19 over 29. So the projection vector P is equal to 19 over 29 times the vector A, which gave us this expression. Perfectly valid. Or we could think of it, well, P is equal to C times A. This times this, which gives us this expression. And this is different now. Because here, see here we're taking inner products. The denominator is the same, but here we're not taking an inner product because we switched the orders of these. Here we have a column vector times a row vector, and that gives a matrix now. And that is our projection matrix. That's the matrix that B is multiplied by to get its projection. So that's what we did right here. Here is A. Here is A transpose. The, the denominator, that was just A transpose A. The denominator here is the same as it is here. That's the magnitude squared of vector A. That's 29. So we have 1 over 29, and then we have our matrix. It will always be symmetrical. P equals then the projection matrix, that's this, times vector B. Vector B is 1, 2, 3. So we go ahead and do it with this set of calculations. And of course, the projection comes out to be the same. We get this expression. Do it this way, of course. We get the same expression. So that's a simple example, then, of uh, of doing a the most simplest type of projection we can do. Uh, and again, just doing it with simple vector methods. What we want to concentrate on, though, is the projection matrix. Because in our other examples, what we're going to do is we'll have a vector. But we're not going to project the vector onto just another vector we're going to project it onto a subspace. And we do that, then we have to work with matrices throughout the entire problem. So it'll be a little bit more, comp uh, not really complicated, but more manipulations that we have to perform. But it'll be completely analogous to what we did in this video and what we just did in the previous video. So come back and join us for the other videos, and we'll continue with more and more um, sophisticated examples. And again, don't forget, the playlist for all the videos is at the website, digital-university.org.